Welcome to Gulp and Nash. This is episode 59. I am Alex. I am Emmy. And today we are drinking Bull's Head Natural Cola. John Henry Bryant and Seth Nutter worked together as beer brewers in uh, at the Silver Springs Brewery in Quebec in the, the eastern townships. And they decided... John Bryant decided he wanted to make a family business, but they figured beer was too hot a market. So uh, he developed a ginger ale uh, recipe and they started with that in 1896. Uh, His wife suggested he call it Bull's Head because of his stubbornness and the name stock. Now, what is interesting to me that I could not figure out was in the 1970s, it says, facing tough competition from major soda companies since having lost the Coca-Cola franchise. And and this is a history from their website. And, and it seems to just like jump around and not give details that seem pretty important. So it introduces John and his partner, Seth. And then, uh, that's in 1896. And then in the 1970s, it says Jerry and John finally closed down from after having lost the Coca-Cola franchise. Now, is this the same John? Because that's 70 years later. So... So he was like... He was probably 90, 80, 90 years old. So is this the same John? Is this a relative of this John? Um, I don't know. It doesn't say. Who's Jerry? What were they doing with the franchise of Coca-Cola? Yeah, and who's Jerry? And what were they doing with the Coca-Cola franchise? Now, a franchise to me is like somebody can have a subway franchise that doesn't mean they own subway they um, license the subway brand and start a business and then subway sells them all the stuff they need to make subway subs or whatever so to me my thought is he didn't own coca-cola that would be crazy um but he he did something for them. Um, maybe he bottled for them would be my thought. My thought would be he had the reason he was doing that was because his company wasn't making enough money, so he had to get a second job. And he liked well, working he, with soda, so yeah. Coke. Well, he he lost the wrong one to lose. Um. To me, so, uh, I'll keep going because to me, this is starting to seem like Bull's Head is a curse. Uh, in 1970, he lost the Coca Cola franchise. What he was doing with a franchise of Coca Cola, I don't know. Maybe he owned a Coca Cola business. Do those exist? I don't know. But anyway, he lost it. So, he wasn't doing so hot. So, he sold Bull, Bull's Head in the 1970s to a Mr. Lucien Levine, a Sherbrooke bottler, who revived the company when he purchased it. Mr. Levine had recently sold his Pepsi franchise in the 1990s. What the heck? And decided to buy Bull's Head. So the workers of two of the biggest competitors of soda in the world basically work well, so, together to with Bull's Head. At one point, two different owners had the two biggest soda brands in the nation. Uh, probably the world, I assume. I don't know the popularity of soda brands in, uh, worldwide. Um, but Pepsi and, and Coke, definitely the two biggest uh, here in the country, uh, or here in the States. The country. <laughs> here in the country. Um, so at one point, owners of Bull's Head uh, owned franchises for those. Again, what a franchise is for Coke, I don't know. I understand the franchise for a restaurant 
I don't understand a franchise for a soda. But it's starting to seem like a curse. <laughs> they they get Bull's head and then they lose uh you know these major franchises. Well, he sold his though. Yeah, he sold his because he lost Coke, so he sold no. Oh, right, the, the, the other Pepsi. dude with the Pepsi sold it. Right. Still, huge mistake. Um, I would think. Maybe he made out on it and lived comfortably the rest of his life. I don't know. Uh, so anyway, he owned it in the 1990s until 2006 when the Husk Brothers bought it um, and uh, brought husks. it back in November... It didn't need bringing back. The Husk I Brothers was so bought Bull's Head and were eager to get their hands on their ginger in 2006. So in 2009, Pearson Brothers, Carl and Dominic, with oh, our Sherbrooke partner, Charles Martel, bought the rights and recipe for the legendary ginger ale. <laughs> Absent from the shelves for almost a year. Oh my god. A year. So it kicked around to a lot of different owners, some of which owned uh, huge franchises. Um, make of that what you will. Uh, I'm not saying it's anything necessarily. It just seems like it could be something. And I failed in finding that thing. I'm not an investigative reporter. So if there's a really interesting story out there about how these guys lost the Coca-Cola and Pepsi franchises, no, I didn't, I didn't find cursed. it. Uh, if Bullhead's owners now are watching this, sorry, it's not a curse. It would just be a really interesting story if it was a curse. But I mean, I if they're watching this, then that's a curse because I'm pretty sure they're dead. What? Why? At least the first. No, time. the owners now, I said. Oh, Carl okay. and Dominic. You said the owners, and I'm like. I thought you meant like the guys well, who Those lost are the, the originators. Like, Carl and Dominic, you guys still have a lot of life left in you. You're kicking. The Pearson brother blood you don't is know strong. That. You I don't do. Know I'm, that. I'm trying to. Make you know, them feel good. You know when it was bought, not how old they are. They could be 59 when they 59? bought it. 59? No. <laughs> they only bought it in 2009. If they're 59, that only makes them 60 something. <laughs> they could have like some disease they, you don't know about. They could 70. have like. They could have gotten into a car accident. Lots of things could have happened. Wow. Carl Dominic, I am sorry <laughs> for her. Um, she doesn't know what magical curse juju she is putting on you by insinuating that you might be have been in car accidents and stuff. But oh boy, could have gotten mauled don't by worry, a guys. dog. No, no, don't worry, guys. You'll live Stop happy and healthy lives. You will live happy and healthy lives. Now. Bull's head. <laughs> Natural cola. The interesting thing. Jesus, child. <laughs> leave these two guys alone. Assassinated for your company. So many okay. ways you could die. You could die to a no. duck. You can die to a duck. I'm going to murder you with a duck. <laughs> now this is a bottle so tiny. I don't know, it's such a light flavor. It's so... I don't even know how to react. It does have that cola flavor to it, though. It tastes like a cola. I'm not a big uh, cola guy. Um, but I feel like this is a good cola. Um, like, if you are into cola Don't forget cola how much flavors. of a Coke fan he is. <laughs> If you don't under understand that reference, watch our new Coke video. Not a new 
video, but I'm new Coke. New. New um, Coke, not new Coke video. New if Coke you are video. a fan of the cola flavor, if you are a fan of colas, I feel like this is like a nice high end, like. Fancy schmancy cola. Fancy schmancy cola. Fancy schmancy. Um, it's good. Uh, does it warrant three dollars and twenty nine cents for it? Uh, I guess it's eleven point five ounces, so twelve ounce can is even bigger, and you're paying three dollars and twenty nine cents. I don't know. Depends if you really like colas. If you really want a fancy schmancy cola, fancy I think this schmancy. is pretty fancy schmancy. I think it's uh, schmancy. I think it's a good cola, cola, um, but that's just not really my thing but yeah check it out bull's head <laughs> we were interrupted by dinner this is the unshown fourth child um i just need to wrap up uh hit up the d box below if you want to contact us, we have a Discord and an email so that you can talk to us. We have merch, Streamlabs, and Patreon links down there, as well as what we are going to be drinking next week. Although I think next week might be a Universal Yum's box. So, that's it. Say bye. Bye. Who's that? Who's that? Cecily. Cecily. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, bye. Good job. Yeah.